Day three in Paris. My body is so sore from walking so much. I don't know if I wanna move today. Okay, packing time. Okay, ready to go out for day three. Literally, you guys, my hair smells like cigarettes and I don't smoke at all, but everybody in Paris does and I reek like an ashtray. And of course I didn't bring shampoo because I was like, I'm gonna get a blowout before I go and then I don't have to wash my hair all week. <sighs> so I'm about to leave the room, but I have one last macaron from day one that I need to eat. Chocolate, I believe. Bye, cute little room. Okay, checked out, bag stored, um, and I strategically placed things in my bag for when I get to Copenhagen, because I know right away when I get to Copenhagen, I'm gonna wanna put on my hat and my scarf and my mittens, and then I'm going to want my Danish money. So everything is strategically put in my bag like that. I'm just gonna go wander with my sad little feet. Third day and I haven't had anything from a proper lingerie yet. Pano chocolat. Mm. So good. And then this is boulangerie item number two, a Nutella beignet. Wow. I'm just sec checking to see if I have powdered sugar on my face. This is the Love Lock Bridge, but they took all the locks off. Let's cross it. All right, here we are in one of the most famous bridges in Paris, although it looks a little bit different than where you may have ever seen it. This is Pont des Arts, the bridge that's right across from the Louvre. And this used to be the famous Lovelock Bridge. However, now they have replaced it, little glass barriers instead. Traditionally, you would come here with your lover for eternity and you would write your names on a lock and attach it to the bridge and then throw the key in the Seine for everlasting love. Sorry, Brian. There's several other places for locks in the city, um, but this isn't one of them anymore because the structure of the bridge was actually in trouble. I personally think that this bridge is exceptional for views of the city. You have Ile de la Cité, right there. You can actually see the entire island. And then across, you have all these beautiful buildings with a little view of the Eiffel Tower.
All right, we're at the train station. I'm a turtle again. So the Metro and the RER tickets are completely separate from each other. The RERB is what you always want to take to get to the airport. Using the Chase Sapphire because it counts as travel and gives you three times the points. So now that I'm waiting for my train, I packed all of my winter gear, like my coat and the hat that I was wearing in my backpack because I don't need it until I arrive in Denmark. Before I left Paris, I made it through security and I feel like security in Europe is like the most strict thing in the entire world. I almost always get my bag flagged. All right, we are going to board soon and then we will go to Copenhagen. Hi. You're just right here for the boarding pass and all set. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a nice flight. They did make me switch to a surgical mask because they didn't want me to use a cloth one. I'm in the very last row and that's okay. I picked it because it was the only window seat available and it's a short flight. Landed. Took a little nap on the plane. Ate a little sandwich. Drink a little apple juice. Let's go to Copenhagen. I'm literally getting one of these parts because everybody else is. And this stuff is heavy. It's my ticket to get into Copenhagen Central. Now it's telling me this, which means this. First station. Denmark is so cool, you guys. <laughs> this room is even smaller. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Yay! It's like a dorm. I'm here. Let's have a story. So, it was only like a two, three block, two and a half, three blocks. So that was super easy. And then this hotel is called Motel One, formerly H27. I stayed in a Motel One before in Scotland and it was awesome. So I was like, okay, that's familiar to me. Um, so they have a sign that says H27 and Motel 1. So I walk in and I knew it was a hotel. Oh my God, this bed is cozy. <gasps> I can't even lay down or I won't get back up. Anyway, so I walk in cause it says like, dear guests, blah, blah, blah. And I walk in and it's like a super swanky bar. And I was like, looking around like, um, I don't know, maybe the bar is on this floor and upstairs is the check-in, because that's happened to me before. So I start to go upstairs, like a turtle with my big old backpack shell on me. And then I ask the guy, I'm like, where's the check-in? He's like, the bar is the check-in. I was like, okay. Then this really cute little guy that looks like Harry Styles is like, oh my God, hi. And I was like, oh my God, hi. And he's like, do you have a reservation? 
I'm like, yeah, I do. And he's like, oh my God, awesome. So we checked in and he was so cute. There's lots of cute boys here. I'm taken, but there's lots of cute boys here. That's what I've noticed. So all you single girls, we can come to Copenhagen. Let's see what our view is like. Oh, oh there's no screen. Okay, well, don't fall out of the window. You would never have no screen on a hotel window in America. Maybe people don't want to jump out of it in Copenhagen. Let's see what the bathroom's like. Oh. How cute. All right, I at least need to venture out to get food. There's a little Italian place around the corner. Guys, what time is it? 8, 11. But we're just gonna stop this vlog now because there's nothing else to show you. Thanks so much for traveling with me today. Thrilling day of travel, I know. And it's raining in Paris and it's raining in Copenhagen. Is it raining in Michigan? I don't know. I feel like I've been traveling forever and Brian's like, this week's just flying by. I'm like, what are you talking about? Hope you guys are subscribed to this channel. Like this video, comment if you want to. And I'm so excited to explore Copenhagen tomorrow because it looks like it could be one of my new favorite cities. All right, bye.